What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about the mechanical certification in Revit. Okay, so this time we're going to learn how to create analytical pipe connections. So we will be able to describe the analytical pipe connections and then we're going to create analytical pipe connections. Okay, so the first thing that we will be doing is we're going to select a water source heat pump and then we're going to click the analytical connections on our ribbon. So I just need to zoom in my model. So let's say this one, this is our WSHP or water source heat pump. So I'm going to select this. And here, since there are multiple pipe connectors, so we have a connector for the pipes, for the power, and then we also have a connector for our uh, duct. Okay, so since there are multiple pipe connectors on our WSHP, a select connector dialog appears when you select analytical connection. So I'm going to select this one, and then you will see this select connectors. Okay, so these are the connectors that is included to this family. So we have hydronic supply return, uh, hydronic supply return again, and then hydronic supply, hydronic uh, return. So these are the connectors. Okay, so I'm going to select the, let's say the first option, the connector one. Alright, so I'm going to select hydronic supply round 3 4 inch water supply in flow direction. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to select OK. So that's it. Now, if you are going to look at your uh, bar here, select one or more pipes to create the analytical connection between the selected pipe and equipment. So for this one, I'm going to select the condenser water supply pipe which is uh, this one here. So I'm going to select this. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to select here, modify. So I'm going to repeat the process. So this time I'm going to select the connector number two. So I'm going to select. And then analytical connections. And then I'm going to select the hydronic return. And then select here, OK. And then after that, I'm going to select the other one. So I'm going to select the other pipe here. Click that and then I'll just select here, modify. So we already created couple up um, system. So if we're going to check our system browser, again, if your system browser is turned off, you just need to right click and then look for the browsers and then look for system browser. OK. <clears throat> All right, and then from the system browser, you can see here that I have two piping systems. So I'm going to expand this. So I have here condenser water return. The other one is condenser water supply. So let me expand that, expand, expand this, expand. So you'll be able to see the different systems that we have here. And one of them is the uh, system that we created, which is this one here for our return. And then for our uh, supply, so that's the one. Okay, so now I'm going to select the condenser water supply uh, pipe here, which is this one. So I'm going to select this and then let's check out the properties here. So I just want you to be aware that the flow value is populating since an analytical connection has been Created. So if you're going to move the slider down, you can see some uh, mechanical flow here. So as you can see, these are the informations <clears throat> that was created after we create an analytical connection. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select another water source heat pump. Okay, so let's say, for example, this one. So I'm going to select this one. And then I'm going to select here analytical connection. Okay, so let's click this. All right, so here on our select connectors, I'm going to select both the connector one and connector two. So you can do that by holding the control. You click one 
and then you hold control okay and then after that I'm going to select here okay right and then I'm going to select the supply and then I'm going to select the return so that's it okay so Revit will create analytical connectors based on the system classification so I'm going to select here uh, modify so this is the one that we have created this one so let us check again so this is my water source heat pump 2-1 so that's the name and this is the system or this is the equipment that is part of that uh, system here and you will notice on our system browser that there are some connectors that is not yet assigned to the system which is normal because we didn't assign or we didn't create system to all of the connectors of this equipment so that's why there are still some uh, connectors that is still unassigned okay now uh, let me create another system here so I'm gonna select this one I'm gonna continue creating analytical connections for my uh, water source heat pump so, so same procedure I'm gonna select this and then select both and then select OK and then I'm going to select this one and then uh, this one and then I'll just select here modify okay so that's it so again this is now already part of the system there okay so if I'm going to select one of the return here so let us have a look so this is your condenser water uh, return so you can also hover your pointer to one of the pipe and then you can press tab and then you can click so it will allows you to select the connections of pipe and then it will tell you what is the particular system for that which is condenser water return so that's the system name and then these are some of the information that you can find from them or from the system so be aware that Revit can calculate all the parameters since analytical connectors are connecting all the components on the system so that's the reason why it is very important to create a system in your uh, model because Revit do the calculation for all the parameters after you create the analytical connectors so same with this one so I'll select this okay and then I'm going to select analytical connections uh, both and then I'll select your OK and then I'll select this one and then this one here and then I'll just select here modify so there are now analytical connection okay so let me show you again so I just undid so I'm going to select this analytical connections and then let's select both and then I'll select here okay and then I'm going to select this one so as you can see there's the connection and then I'm going to select the other one here so as you can see there's the connection so I'm going to select the modify okay so when you create your analytical connection so be aware of this connection that is being added to your model so if you click that it will tell you what is that so that is my analytical water return so if you want to select the supply hover your pointer and then press tab tab until it selects the other connection so you can click that and then you can see here all right so basically this is part of your examination that's why i'm showing you how to create or how to define analytical pipe connection okay so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching have a nice day